Hello everyone and welcome to Speed Math Classes. In this episode, I am going to teach you how to multiply values near 100. These type of tricks are very important when you go for competitive exams and you get questions like percentage, interest, you know, all such questions. When multiplying values near 100, there are three cases. Values which are greater than 100, values which are less than 100 and value which is 1 plus 100 and 1 minus 100. So all these cases we'll discuss later, but in this class, we will discuss about values greater than 100. So let's take an example. The example is 107 into 104. So our step one is, step number one, we always take our base as 100. Okay. Step number two, we take the differences of these numbers from 100. Like if it is 107, so the difference is 7. 104, the difference is 4. Move to step number 3. In step number 3, you have to multiply the differences, which is 7 into 4 is equals to 28 and write it down here. So this is the last two digits of your answer. Moving on to step number 4. Step number 4, you have to do the cross addition. You can either add 107 plus 4 or do 104 plus 7 and you will get 111. And put it here, 1, 1, 1. And your answer is 1, 1, 1, 2, 8. So this is one example where our digits are already two digits. But you can get some questions where digits are even one digit or three digit. We'll move up to next example and see how we can solve them. So step number one, our base is 100. Step number two, we'll take the differences. Here it's two, here it's three. Step number three, Multiply the differences. When we'll multiply the differences, we will get 6. As 6 is a one digit number and as per the rule, we should always put 0 before 6 while writing here for the answer. And step number 4 is cross addition where we will going to add 1 or 2 plus 3 which is 1 not 5. So our answer for 1 or 2 into 1 or 3 is 10506. I want to stress a point here. Multiplication of the differences always gives us the last two digits of the answer. So in case we are getting only one digit, we should put a zero before that. So let's move to the next example where we are multiplying 108 into 114. Step number one, base is 100. Step number two, the differences. 108 is 8 and from 114 it's 14. Step number three, multiply the differences. So when we are multiplying the differences, our answer is 1, 1, 2. Again, I want to stress here, the multiplication of differences always gives us the last two digits. So these two digits we put here and this one we're going to carry. Step number four, we're doing the cross addition. So this gives us 1, 2, 2, but we have to carry this one. So we have to write here 1, 2, 3. And that's your answer for 108 into 114. Our answer is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you start practicing it at home, I assure you that you don't need a pen or a paper. You can solve these questions in your mind. I hope you liked it. Do subscribe for our channel.